After about a week of rumors, Marco Raconac has officially signed with Red Star uh, on a six-month loan from uh, Lokomotiv Moscow. Uh, there will be a uh, buyout option, so to say. Right now, from what I've read, it will be probably close to a million euros. So they want to recuperate some of the money that they gave for uh, Rakonas last year when they paid 1.5 million uh, to Chukarički, which is a club, if you follow Serbian football, you should know very well, produce a number of young players who they then sell to European clubs and they make a decent profit for a team that's kind of behind Partizan and, and Red Star in the league. So in terms of Rakonas, he's made 15 appearances this season for Lokomotiv Moscow. Um, almost all off the bench and he only has one uh, assist to show for it which is obviously not something you want to see with a center forward something you expect a lot of goals from but it just simply hasn't worked out for him this season uh, his first in Russia just hasn't been that great and like I said uh, just a bunch of games off the bench that he's kind of contributed not much of uh, in terms of his international play uh, he's played for Montenegro's U21, U19, U17 and U16 so he's kind of got that um, he's been through almost every step of the stage in order to get to the uh, national team. I think he will get there soon enough. Uh, Montenegro is kind of thin at, at striker anyways with a lot of guys coming towards uh, the tail end of their career. So if he can have a run of matches where he kind of gets into form a little bit, I think he's going to be called up to their uh, national team where he can contribute uh, quite a bit. 2021-22 season was his best one. 28 appearances, 11 goals and 3 assists for Trukarički. He was one of the best uh, U21 players in Serbia. And that's kind of like a big thing in the Serbian league because you have to have a player 21 and under. I believe on, right now it's on the pitch at all times of the match before you U21 player had to start and then he could potentially be subbed off and you could bring on someone else. But I think and the rules change feels like every year now, but you have to have a U21 player on the pitch at all times. So, and he plays a very important position, right? Like as a striker, um, in terms of his goal scoring last season, like I said, 11-3 and three in, in 28 matches. That's a really good return on a team that has a lot of young talent. There are some veteran players, but it's mostly players like 23 and, and under. So uh, great stats for him last season. Uh, and like I said, this is a loan. So Red Star will have the chance to kind of purchase him after this six-month loan if they're satisfied with what he shows and what he proves. I personally think this is just... Unless he comes and does something spectacular and scores like 10, 12 goals in the final however matches there are left in the season, I really don't think that Red Star are going to purchase his contract. I think that they're just buying time until the end of the season and then in the summer they're going to reevaluate what they have and what they don't within the team. But that's not to say that they're not going to... That's not to say that 100% they're not going to buy uh, Rakunets once this is done. Um... He's 192, so he's, what's that, like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, something like that. So he's got some height to him. Um, from what I've seen of his videos, he has that combination of kind of being at the right place at the right time in terms of scoring goals. Plus, he also has great composure in front of the in front of goal. So there's a uh, great shot outside the box, which is very important as well. Usually players who are his height, I don't want to say they don't contribute that, but it's not their necessarily their number one attribute their number one attribute is usually headed goals right so he kind of has that aspect where he can score outside of the box as well he's cool and composed in front of the um, goalkeeper whenever he's one-on-one -on -one. he has that aspect of him as well three assists last year it's not a huge number but again for a guy that you know who's 191 we usually expect just goals with their head and that's kind of it but he has that aspect where he can assist to teammates as well and playing with better quality players than he had in Chukarički, I think his assist numbers are going to have, um, we're going to see them rise a little bit. And I think what's going to play into his hand as well, I, I believe that Red Star, and I haven't read anything about this, but I think Red Star is going to go with uh, two center forwards during some matches. I don't know if we have enough defensive cover with the um, with like a CDM, which Sergei Mihailovic is pretty much the only one on this roster who has defensive qualities at that position. I don't know if it's certain that we're going to go with 4-2-3-1. I think we could see variations of 3-5-2, 3-4-3, 4-3-3, things like that. So I think he's going to have a really good chance of playing up top with Pesic, which they both bring something different to the team. And I also think that when you have the qualities of guys like 
uh, Ivanic, Katai, Bukhari, and all these players, Stefan Mitrovic, I think he's going to be able to score some goals here for Red Star. And now, just the question, next question is like, how long is it going to take him to adapt to the team? Uh, I don't know when the last time he played uh, was. So, you know, he kind of didn't go through the um, friendlies with Red Star ahead of the return of the second half of the season. So we'll see how long it takes him. I don't expect him to be in the squad for tomorrow's match against Vojvodina. I would be shocked if he is, but um, obviously in the next two or three weeks, we'll see where he stands. So it's a, it's a, again, a loan deal for uh, Marco Rakonyac. He has a, he has a contract until 2026 with Lokomotiv Moscow. Uh, there is a purchase uh, that Red Star could purchase the player after the six month loan. Um, yeah, he just hasn't got his feet under him at Lokomotiv Moscow. And now he's looking for something else. And hopefully uh, he comes to Red Star, scores a lot of goals. And, you know, we're left with the question of, are we going to buy him after the six-month loan?